Here's a quickie video that's going to show you how to tell if one of your independent variables, your IVs, is acting as a mediator or as a moderator in your multiple regression model. Some of the vocabulary used in this video will be multiple regression, beta weights, mediator, moderator, unstandardized regression coefficients, Sobel mediator test, p-value, significance, a standard error, direct and indirect effect, plus others. In this basic multiple regression model, we have four variables. Starting from the top, we have global mindset. Going clockwise, it's international performance, alliances, both domestic and international. And the last one is the extent of social networks. Those are all variables. And we're trying to figure out which of these variables influences the international performance variable. So that's going to make that our DV and the other variables IVs. We're going to use a multiple regression model to see how strongly these IVs influence the outcome of the DV or what percentage of the variance in the DV can be explained by our IVs. Using the amazing SPSS software program, we're going to go ahead and run this regression. This is what the real data looks like. You'll notice that some of the variables have a lot of missing data. Go to Analyze, down to Regression, and then over to Linear. And this box pops up. You got to tell it which one is the DV and which of your variables is the are the IVs. So our DV is the international performance, and our IVs are the remaining three variables. All right, click on the statistics box, and go ahead and click the boxes that you want when it comes to whatever statistics will show up in SPSS. I personally always go to the option box to make sure that our alpha is set at 0.05. That can be changed, but 0.05 is normally accepted. Then click the button and it will go ahead and take you to the output sheet. The first box is descriptive statistics. It gives us the mean and the standard deviation of all of the variables, plus how many of the subjects were used. This next box is the correlations box. Some people call it the inner correlation matrix. It, is, it shows the correlations between all the different variables with each other. First thing I do is always look at the significance row here to see which one of these correlations are indeed significant. There's a couple, right? The variables entered slash remove box just tells us which variables are being used. Here we're using the alliances, the social, and the global as the IVs. And down here on the bottom it says what the DV is, and that's the international performance. The model summary is a very important box. It'll give you your R values, that's your correlation, but more importantly, your R square values. In this problem, we get 0.111. What that means is that around 11% of the variance in your DV can be explained by this model. You know, it's not a lot, but you know, it is enough. And then the adjusted R square means that if you took this exact model and apply it to something different, like a different set of data, then your adjusted R-square will drop down to about 8%. So, eh, it's kind of iffy, maybe. Your ANOVA box will tell us if we have a significant regression or not, and we certainly do. We have an F-score of 4.056, and the significance is plenty tiny. So that means that our regression is a significant regression. What the ANOVA is checking on is if there's a significant difference between the residuals. In the coefficients box is the data that we're going to use to determine if any of these IVs are behaving like a mediator. In the first column, it tells you the, what's in the model. It has your IVs here, and then your DV is listed at the bottom. In the next column is the unstandardized coefficients. We're going to be using that data later when we use our Sobel test to check for mediators. Now these unstandardized coefficients, they're in the units that are 
particular to each of the variables. So in other words, if one of the variables was like in feet and inches, that's what the units would be. And if another unit was in dollars, that's what that units would be. So these are the unstandardized coefficients. Moving over one column to the right are the standardized coefficients, also known as the beta weights. This doesn't care what the units are. It kind of standardizes all the data, and it will tell you how strongly each of the IVs is influencing the DV. And with our example, the social and global IVs are pretty much the same. They're negative. That doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. But you'll look at the alliances, and it's pretty big. Its beta weight is much larger than the other two. So that should be a clue to which of these IVs is the largest influencer of the DV. The next column over is a t-test. What this does is it tests each coefficient for, from each individual IV against the null hypothesis which state that the difference is zero. So you'll notice that we have significance on the constant. We never really worry too much about a constant, but the significance is good on the alliances. It's 0 0.002, but the other ones, the social and global, it is not significant from zero. So therefore, again, alliances is sticking out like a red flag there. Next column over to the right, we have our partial and semi-partial correlations, which show the influence of each of the IVs when it comes to predicting the DVs. We're not going to do that here. We have made another video, but you have to square them, and that tells you how much of the DV each of the IVs represents. And again, the only one that's got any size to it is the alliances. Last column to the right, the collinearity statistics. This is checking your model to see if, if two of the IVs are acting so closely together that you can't tell which is doing what. Uh, collinearity is bad in a multiple regression model, and we do not have that here. If, if under our tolerance, if these numbers were greater than 1, we would have broken the collinearity rule. And then the VIF is the inverse of tolerance. If these values were over 10, then we would also have broken the collinearity rule, but our model is good. No collinearity. Back to our model, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the beta weights for each of the IVs. Now comes the good part. We have to decide if any of the IVs is acting as a mediator or a moderator from the information we've already gleaned from this problem. It looks like if any one of them, it's going to be the alliances variable. So we're going to go ahead and check to see if the global mindset is a mediator first. So let's go ahead and do that one first. And here's the model that we're going to use to test it. This particular test is called the Sobel Mediator Test, also known as the Preacher Sobel Mediator Test. Here's how it works. We're going to go ahead and work through a couple of these examples. So we have an IV, a suspected mediator, and a DV. The bottom line of the triangle there kind of represents what we call the direct effect from the IV to the DV. That could be insignificant by itself. But if we sent the IV through a mediator variable, and then the mediator variable down to the DV, there, there could be some serious significance in that relationship, and that's the definition of a mediator, otherwise known as the indirect effect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and label the IV as the social extent of their network, the suspected mediator as the global mindset, and the DV as the international performance. Next step, we're going to run a new multiple regression using the IV, which is their social network extent, and the DV is going to be the suspected mediator. Back to SPSS, go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, And remember, in this model, our DV is going to be our suspected mediator. So we're checking out global. So that's going to be our DV. And our IV is going to be the social network. Make sure you got the right buttons clicked and go ahead and click OK. 
And here's the output to the new model here. Let's check it out real quick. We're only going to look at the coefficients box. We need to get the unstandardized coefficient from our IV and its standard error. And there it is right there. The unstandardized coefficient is 0 0.406 and its standard error is 0 0.071. All right, part two to this test. Now we have to run a different linear regression model, this time with the two IVs and the one DV. This time we just treat the mediator like it's a regular IV. Back at SPSS, go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, and let's take these old ones out. We're going to go ahead and put the new ones in. So the DV is going to be the international performance and the IVs are going to be the global and the social network. And again, we're only going to look at the coefficients box for the unstandardized coefficients for our suspected mediator. In our problem, it's the global. And that looks like 0 0.106 with a standard error of 0 0.057. We're going to go ahead and use that data to decide if this thing is a mediator or not. Now that we have the unstandardized coefficients and the different standard errors, let's go ahead and go do the Sobel mediator test. Here's the web address to the Sobel mediator calculator that we're about to play with. And here's the actual web page. Scroll down to the actual calculator. Now we're going to type in the data. The first one is the unstandardized coefficient from the first model. That's the A. The B is the unstandardized coefficient from the second model. That's B. And then we're going to type in the standard error from the first model and the standard error from the second model. Then we're going to go ahead and hit the calculate button and see what happens. You'll notice in the top row where it says Sobel test all the way to the right where it says p-value. If that number was less than 0 0.05, that means that your variable is in fact a mediator. But in our problem, it is greater than 0 0.05, which means that the IV of global mindset is not a mediator. So now let's check to see if the alliances variable is a mediator. We're going to go ahead and repeat the Sobel mediator test, but this time for the IV of alliances. So the IV is going to be the extent of social network. The mediator suspected is going to be alliances, and the DV is going to be the international performance. First step, we're going to run a new linear regression model with just one IV and one DV. The IV is going to be the social networks, and the DV, again, is going to be the suspected mediator and in this problem, this is going to be the alliance variable. Go to Analyze, go to Regression, go to Linear. Our DV is going to be the suspected mediator, which in this problem is alliances. And our IV is going to be the extent of social network. Here's the output. And the only thing, again, we're looking at is the coefficient box. We're looking at the unstandardized coefficients and its standard error. Looks like 0.227 and 0 0.00, respectively. We're going to go ahead and run a new linear regression. This time we're going to use the suspected mediator, the alliances variable, as a regular IV, as a regular predictor, along with the social IV. And again, with the output, we're only looking at one box, the coefficients box, to check out the suspected mediators unstandardized coefficient. So that's the alliances. And it looks like that is 0.335 and its standard error is 0.113. Back to our Sobel mediator test calculator. We're going to go ahead and type in the unstandardized coefficients from the two different models with their standard errors. And then go ahead and click the Calculate button.
and we get a p-value of 0 0.054, blah, 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 blah. 0 0.054, that is pretty darn close to 0 0.05. And I would say that's close enough to the critical alpha value of 0 0.05 to be considered significant. That and along with its, with its unusually large beta weight. So we can go ahead and reject the null and say that the alliances is in fact a mediator. Now let's check to see if they're moderators. This goes a lot faster. Back to SPSS. Go to transform, compute variable, and we need to name the new variable something. That's what they call the target variable. We're gonna just call ours moderator global. So we're checking to see if the global IV is a moderator. All right, so we're gonna click the social variable move it over to the numeric expressions box and then we're going to hit the multiply button that's that little asterisk key and then we're going to hit the global IV over into the numeric expressions box and click OK. We just made a brand new variable. What that is is a interaction variable with the social IV and the global IV and it's a brand new variable called global moderator. We're just checking to see if it's a global moderator. Got it? All right, back to SPSS. Go to analyze, regression, linear. This time we're gonna put the dependent variable as the international performance again. And now we're gonna put in the social IV, the global IV, and our new IV that we just made, the moderator global IV, and then we're going to run a regression on those. And the only box we're going to look at from the output sheet is the coefficients box. We're going to go down to where it says moderator global, that's our interaction variable between the two that we just created. And we're going to go to the far right where it says sig, significance. You'll notice it is 0.680, which is not less than 0.05. Therefore, we do not have a moderator significant interaction. In other words, the global IV is not a moderator. All right, now we're going to check to see if alliances is a moderator. We're going to follow the same process. Go to transform, compute variable. We're going to go ahead and make a new variable, just like we did before. And we're going to name it first. Let's call it uh, Moderator Alliances. Go ahead and click on the Social IV. Move it over to the box. Hit the Multiplication. That's the asterisk key. And then we're going to go ahead and click the Alliances. Move that over to the box. Hit OK. That's, that means we've just created a new variable. That is the interaction result between the IV of social and the IV of alliances. We're going to go ahead and run a new multiple regression. Go to analyze, regression, linear. So our DV is still international performance, but our IVs are going to be the social alliances. And then the new one that we just made, moderator alliances. We're going to go ahead and run the regression. And again, the only box we're going to look at is the coefficient box to see if the significance of our interaction variable, the moderator alliances variable, is less than 0.05, and it is not. It is greater than 0.05, therefore, alliances is not a moderator. We kind of already knew that because we identified it as a mediator, so they can't be both. But that's it. We hope you enjoyed it. MGZ, out.